What we're going to be going over here is just a brief example here on consignment sales here. This is where the consigner or the wholesaler, the manufacturer ships goods to a consignee or a dealer here for these goods to be sold by the consignee or the dealer here. And for example, the uh, consigner here or the wholesaler shipped on consignment 80 TV sets here, the consignee or the dealer here to sell here. Now the cost of each of these TV sets here, or TVs here, this is the cost that the wholesaler has in each of these TVs is $1,000 each. And they paid shipping costs here of $1,680 to ship these uh, television sets or the TVs to the consignee or the dealer here and the consignee sold 60 of these 80 television sets and they sold them at a sales price of $1,500 each and the remittance was made by the consignee for the amounts due here they had the consignee charges a six or six percent commission right here and on sales here and they also uh, paid uh, advertising costs here $400 and installation costs of $640 for these TVs that are sold. And the agreement was between the consignee and the consigner that the consigner or the dealer would be paying these costs here. So let's go down and make our calculations here. So first for our inventory value of these TVs that were sold and unsold here. So the key is here in how we calculate our inventory value. So we have 80 TVs shipped here at a cost of $1,000 each. Now remember that's the cost here that the consigner has on these TV sets. So 80 times $1,000 is going to give us $80,000 here. And then uh, they paid the freighter the shipping cost here of $1,680. Now uh, that's included here in the inventory. That's a key item here. So our total inventoryable costs here are $81,680. Now we had at the end here, at the end of the period here when the remittance was made, there were 20 TVs that were still on hand. So 20 of the 80 here times the $81,680. The inventoryable cost here is going to give us our inventory on hand here of $20,420. And then we just have the 60 TVs that were sold, the 60 of the 80 here times 81,620. Again, our inventoryable costs here uh, for $61,260. Okay, so now let's uh, look at the consigner's profits on these TVs that are sold here. So consignment sales, 60 uh, TVs were sold here at a sales price of $1,500 each here. So total consignment sales were $90,000. So the cost of the TVs that were sold on these sales here, well, that was what we calculated up above here, that uh, 60 of the 80 here times $81,620, uh, $680, excuse me, for uh, cost of the TV is $61,260. And then they also had to pay the commission costs here, 6% 6, 6 times the $90,000 worth of sales here for $5,400. Also, the advertising costs have to be subtracted out of $400 and the installation costs here of $640. So, subtracting all our uh, costs here from our sales here of $90,000, we're going to end up with a profit on the consignment sales here of $22,300. Now, let's look at the remittance of the consignee or the dealer here, what they actually paid here to the um, got consigner or the wholesaler here. So the consignment sales, 60 TVs here, times $1,500 each, $90,000. And then we, do, we just subtract out the commission cost. They would have retained this money here. They total 90,000 in sales, but we have to, they're gonna hold back on their commissions. They're gonna get paid here $5,400 and also the advertising of 400 and the installation. Same as we calculated up above here. So we got uh, we're going to hold back here of the total 90,000 sold, $6,440. So they're going to re, uh, remit here the consigner. The consignee is going to pay the consigner here, the uh, wholesaler here, $83,560. Okay, so now let's go up and let's look at how we make our entries here. And we're just going to look at it from the consigner or the wholesaler's entries here. Now, let's just lay out our accounts here. First, Let's look at, uh, we're going to have some inventory here on a consignment. So what first thing we have to do is we have to take care of that inventory here. We're going to transfer from a finished goods inventory here, and this is all on our balance sheet here, the, the inventory that was shipped out. So we would credit or reduce our finished goods inventory by the cost of an inventory here of $80,000 
and then we would debit or increase our inventory account here on the consignment sales here by $80,000. And then the other thing of looking at our inventory account, remember we that freight charge here, that's included in our inventory here. We have to include our inventory for that amount. $1,680 here, and then they would have paid the cash on these uh, for that shipping cost here. Credit or reduce our cash account here by $1,680. Okay, so now let's look at what we would, have. first off, let's look at our cost of these, a uh, cost of goods sold. Now we're going to be looking here on our income statement. We're going to have some sales revenue, our cost of goods sold, and also our sales expenses here. So let's first deal with this cost of goods sold here. Remember, uh, we have to adjust our inventory account here on our balance sheet here for the cost of those sales. So we credit or reduce our inventory account here by 61 thousand two hundred and sixty dollars and then we would debit or increase our cost of goods sold here on our income st uh, income statement for the consignment sales here sixty one thousand two hundred and sixty dollars so we've adjusted our inventory account here and uh, for those sales here and we recognize it as cost of goods sold on our income statement here for those 60 tvs here that were sold so the only other thing we have to deal with is what was remitted here by the consignee here to the consigner. So the consigner would have received $83,560 here in cash on those sales here. That's what re was remitted here. So debit or increase our cash here by that amount, $83,560. And then the balancing amount would go into on our income statement, the sales revenue on these consignment sales here. Again, 60 TVs here times that sales of $1,500 each for $90,000. And then the only other thing we have here to deal with on this remittance here, uh, we would credit our sales revenue here for $90,000, but we have to also go down and take our sales expense here on our income statement. We have to recognize that, which reduces our sales revenue for uh, that $5,400. Uh, $5, that was that 6% commission here, and also the advertising costs of four. $400 and installation costs here of $640. So we would debit uh, our sales expense by those amounts here. That's reducing our sales revenue. So our cash account here, our debits in our cash account, 83560 plus our debits here in our sales expense for those amounts here balance with the credit amount here on our sales revenue. So We've just briefly went over here and we're just looking at it from the consigner, the wholesaler's entry here. So just remember here, uh, this inventory account here, that has to be adjusted or in, uh, has to include, in this case, our freight costs, our shipping of those uh, units out here. And then we have to adjust it at the end. Well, we have our, we're transferring from our finished goods inventory here into our inventory on consignment when we we made that shipment. So that's the key here. And then remember inventory included those freight costs here. And then we have to adjust our inventory account here for the cost of those sales here. Credit or reduce our inventory by that amount and then we debit or increase our cost of goods sold on the uh, whatever sales we made here for the period here. And then just remember again for the what we remitted here, that's the cash that we're going to receive here from the consignee or the uh, the dealer here that sold those TVs here. And then we'd recognize their sales revenue here, but we have to reduce our sales revenue by those, uh, well, our cost of goods sold as well here, but also those sales expenses that we uh, set up here when we made those uh, that consignment here for the commission, advertising costs, and also the installation. Okay, so that's just going over a brief example here, and we just looked at it from the consigner or the wholesaler's entries.